Well, it's July 17th, 2017. I'm here in beautiful, sunny, gorgeous Scottsdale, Arizona, where everyone seems to want to retire to. So I get asked this question, what am I doing? You know, I uh, had my book published a couple of years ago and my life has changed. Everybody I talk to wants to know uh, about retirement and how to actualize your life, how to have enough money to do the things that you want to do for the rest of your life. And, uh, and I'm a baby boomer. So this is really, really interesting. All my friends are baby boomers. So um, the reason I do this is it, it's, quite, it's quite simple. I run into people my age uh, every day that are broke. I run into friends that I've known for 20 years and they want to talk to me because they're starting to think I'm going to retire. I had, I had a very, 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 very good friend of mine uh, that I've known for 20 years. And of course, you know, when we know, when we friends, uh, uh, until we really start talking, my appearances are fine. I know that this gentleman has uh, earned between 100 and 200, 100 and $300,000 uh, for almost 20 years straight um, because it's uh, he, there's awards in, in my old firm that uh, we're giving. It's called the 100% Club, which means you made between 100 and $300,000 in, uh, in earnings. And we talked and we sat down and he told me he was uh, behind on his taxes. And I said, well, okay, th these things happen, and this happens to people all the time. And he says, but you understand, I'm behind last year's too. So I have this year's taxes to pay and last year's taxes, and I haven't, I'm not current with uh, the current year. And I said, well, okay, this isn't the end of the world. We can work this out. I said, uh, uh, what about the equity in your house? And he says, well, I took out a home equity loan, and, and it's, it's uh, maxed out. It's, 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 it's uh, as much as I can get. And he says, I have a personal line of credit for $10,000. And uh, he says, I owe $12,000 on a $10,000 line of credit. So, um, and he was uh, 60 years old thinking that he was going to retire and wondering, well, how is he going to retire? So these are the type of things that uh, the reason I'm doing this, um, I have uh, been semi-retired for 25 years. Uh, my life has been absolutely incredible. I, I don't want to go into how well my life has been, but... Uh, the program that I used is still extremely valid today, and I got some I got some statistics today that are just heartbreaking. These are heartbreaking statistics. I'm looking at the labor force participation rate uh, since the uh, year 2000 to 2017, and those that are aged 60 to 64. And remember, an awful lot of baby boomers uh, retire at 62. The labor participation rate has increased increased in that age group by 20% in the 60 to 64s. The 65 to 69-year-olds increased by 40%. Increased. Now, these are people of retirement age. The age is supposed to drop. The actual participation rate in the uh, their labor percentage has gone up 40% in the 65 to 69-year-olds. In the 70 to 74 years old, 70 to 74 year olds, it's gone up 47 percent, 47 percent. And then you're not going to you're not going to believe this. 75 and over, 75 and over, it's gone up 63 percent, 63 percent. You're 75 years old, and that group has gone up 63 percent in labor participation rate. Tell me, why do you suppose that is? Do you think it's because they've got, they're just bored, they've got nothing better to do? Or maybe it's because the electric bill is due and they don't have any money. Keep in mind that the average baby boomer is out of money in, in no more than 15 to 20 years. They are 100% out of funds. And here's what's happening is that baby boomers are retiring at 10,000 baby boomers every single day. So let me ask you, if you have an increase in baby boomers retiring, 10 years later, they're out of money. And they're 75 years old, aren't they? And they go back to work because they're out of money. So let's not have that happen. That's what I'm doing this for. You know, my book got published. I speak all around uh, in, in Arizona. I may be going uh, national with this. 
Uh, it's really, really simple stuff. But this is this is really, really simple stuff. But you have to be really, really careful. Keep in mind that uh, we have a we have a pension crisis coming. We have a bond crisis coming. I want to tell you that there is no way we won't have a crisis. It's already baked in the cake. The time for making changes is over, so it's certainly coming. So it's time for you to prepare.